Good morning, my dear students. It gives me great pleasure to talk to you students through video presentations like this as usual. As I used to tell you every time, those who are interested in having automatic notification about the new videos being uploaded in the channel, please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button as well as the bell icon. Those who want to reach your friends also, share the videos to your friends and advise them to subscribe by clicking subscribe button as well as the bell icon. Now, in this particular video presentation, we'll just have a quick recap of whatever we have done in the previous videos meant for class 10 of CBSE, where we discussed about polynomials. Let me just have a quick recap of whatever we have done. Just see here, any expression of the form a x square plus b x plus c, a not equal to 0 and a comma b comma c or real numbers is known as a quadratic polynomial. Okay, and whenever it need not be quadratic, quadratic in general if you are given a polynomial p of x, okay, if for a number k, if p of k is polynomial p of x is given if for p of k is equal to 0 for some k i need to say k is a zero of the given polynomial if k is real we call it as a real zero if k is uh, not real it is called a complex or unreal or not real or imag or imaginary polynomial okay and if alpha beta are the zeros of this quadratic polynomial then we have seen alpha plus beta is equal to minus b by a minus coefficient of x minus coefficient of x by coefficient of x square. We have seen the proof of these things already. Coefficient of x square. Okay, denominator is coefficient of x square. Alpha beta is c by a which is constant term by coefficient of of x square okay this is what we have seen and if you are given a x cube plus b x square plus c x plus d a not equal to 0 a cube, cubic polynomial is given and alpha beta gamma or the zeros okay i mean to say alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a then alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha to b is equal to of course, which will be c by a and alpha, beta, gamma will be is equal to minus b by a. Here you can even say minus coefficient of x square by coefficient of x cube. Here coefficient of x by coefficient of x cube and here it is minus constant term by coefficient of x cube. Okay, then of course, uh, you, might, you might have seen the, if any quadratic polynomial if you are going to draw the graph of the corresponding expression equating to, z, uh, to y okay, and if the graph intersects the uh, x axis at two points the x coordinate the corresponding points will be the zeros real zeros real zero we call it as real zeros okay in some books and uh, some people say that uh, simply zeros it's better to say real zeros okay if the curve does not intersect it's above x axis or below x axis you will have zeros but the zeros are not real zeros are imaginary for any cubic polynomial okay it will intersect at uh, three points okay for any cubic polynomial the curve may intersect at uh, three points there are three distinct real zeros there are three distinct real zeros and you may come across a case like this okay the curve <laughs> touches the x-axis this curve is called the parabola here you have equal or coincident zeros we have seen earlier and as many times the uh, curve intersects the uh, x-axis those many real zeros will be there we have seen in the earlier videos okay here one two three four there are four real zeros there are four real zeros this much we have already discussed the earlier videos and of course we have seen if you are going to be given p of x and of course g of x where degree of p of x is greater than equal to g of x we can identify q of x and r of x in such a way that 
P of x is equal to g of x into q of x, g of x into q of x plus r of x, q of x plus r of x we have seen, where r of x is either 0 or I mean to say degree of r of x is less than degree of g of x. This is what we have already seen. Okay, this is called division algorithm for polynomial. Here, this polynomial p of x is called the dividend. This g of x is called divisor. This q of x is called quotient. And this is called remainder. This is called the remainder. Okay, and this is called the quotient. Q of x is called the quotient. And this is called the divisor. This is called the divisor. And this is, of course, this is called the dividend. Now, for whenever I'm going to be given two such polynomials, you can just verify dividend equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder. Such a verification is called verification of division algorithm for given polynomial. Okay, and I think uh, this much we have seen earlier. And there is just one more proof. I'll just explain. Any quadratic polynomial will have at most two zeros. Just listen carefully. Okay. Show that. Show that any quadratic polynomial. Quadratic polynomial will have at most. Two zeros. I can't go beyond two zeros. Let me think about the proof. Let us assume, if possible, if possible, there are three zeros alpha, beta, gamma for a x square plus b x plus c a not equal to zero. Let us assume a not equal to zero is understood. Okay. Alpha not equal to beta not equal to gamma. Let it be now. Alpha beta are zeros of a x square plus b x plus c will automatically imply you alpha beta is equal to minus b by a. Name this is equation one. Beta comma gamma are zeros of a x square plus b x plus c will imply you beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by a. We have seen the proof already. 1 and 2 will automatically imply you alpha plus beta is equal to beta plus gamma. Here beta gets cancelled which implies alpha is equal to gamma which is a contradiction. Will Any contradiction will write like this. Okay. This is the symbol for writing mathematically a contradiction. It's a contradiction to the fact that alpha not equal to beta not equal to gamma. This contradiction proves that I can't have three distinct roots for a x square b x plus c. Let me explain the whole lot once again. Show that any quadratic polynomial will have at most two zeros. Let us assume if possible there are three zeros alpha beta gamma for a x square b x plus c a not equal to zero where alpha not equal to beta not equal to gamma. Now alpha beta are zeros of a x square b x plus c we have seen some of the zeros is minus b by a. Name it as equation 1. Now beta gamma are zeros of a x square b x plus c will imply you beta plus gamma is minus b by a. Equate 1 and 2. They both are equal to minus b by a. For alpha plus beta is equal to beta plus gamma. Beta gets cancelled which will imply you alpha is equal to gamma. Which is this symbol is meant for contradiction. This is a contradiction to the fact alpha not equal to beta not equal to gamma. I will end up with the contradiction only when I started with the wrong assumption. Therefore my assumption there are three distinct rules for ax for bx plus c is wrong. There are two distinct zeros, sorry, not roots, zeros. There are three distinct zeros for ax for bx plus c is wrong. Therefore, this contradiction proves that there are at most two zeros for the for any quadratic polynomial. For any quadratic polynomial. Okay, there will be maximum two, at most maximum. Two zeros. Okay. Similarly, for any cubic polynomial, we have at most three zeros. We have at most three zeros. Let it be. Okay. Just we'll do some more problems. Then I think we'll wind off here. Okay. We'll wind off. Okay. Just listen carefully. Now check whether. Check whether. 
will just see uh, t square minus 3 t square minus 3 is a factor of is a factor of 2 t power 4 plus 3 t cube okay minus 2 t square plus 9 t minus 12 just listen carefully check whether t square minus 3 is a factor of 2 t power 4 plus 3 t cube minus 2 t square plus 9 t minus 12 okay let me just do long division i'm talking about the answer now let me take another pen it's two minutes okay let me just divide this is 2 t power 4 plus 3 t cube minus 2 t square plus 9 t minus 12 we will just write it as 0 square t square plus 0 t minus 3 2 t power t power 4 by t square is 2 t square this is 2 t power 4 plus 0 t cube ok then minus 6 t square I am sorry minus 6 t square Sub subtraction tells you this will go off here I will get 3 t cube plus 4 t square plus 9 t now 3 t cube by t square will be 3 t 3 t into t square is 3 t cube plus 0 t square minus 9 t for subtraction we take away 3 t cube this will be 4 t square anyway plus 18 t ok minus 12 is brought down 4 t square of course 4 t square by t square is plus 4 here I mean to say 4 t square plus 0 t of course uh, minus 12 ok here of course this will go off this will go off and I end up with a non zero reminder reminder not equal to 0 reminder here not equal to 0 therefore t square minus 3 is not a factor of is not a factor of 2 t power 4 plus 3 t cube minus 2 t square t square minus 2 t square plus 9 t plus 9 t minus 12 let me just check since I have taken from the textbook let me check the book answer what he has given one second I'll just check quickly okay it is have I taken something wrong 2 t power 4 plus 3 t cube minus 2 t square sorry he has given minus 90 I have taken plus 90 anyway okay I will explain the next problem quickly I will explain once I explain this and I will explain next problem check whether this is a factor now 2 t power 4 by t square is 2 t square 2 2 square and 2 t square uh, t square is 2 t power 4 plus 0 t cube okay minus 6 t square subtraction gives you 3 t cube plus 4 t square bring 90 down now for 3 t cube by t square is 3 t 3 t into t square is 3 t cube 3 t into 0 0 t square minus 90 of course this is uh, uh, 18 t then uh, here 4 t square here minus 12 is brought down okay this is subtraction symbol don't get get confused and writing this only for subtraction okay now here you mean to say 4 t square by t square is 4 4 into t square is 4 t square 4 into 0 t is 0 t 4 into minus 3 minus 12 okay therefore i mean to say automatically reminder to be non zero therefore this is not a factor i'll get a small change over here okay just listen instead of plus 90 i write it as minus 90 let us see what happens everything else will go as it is here of course this will become automatically 0 t this will become automatically 0 t okay here again everything gets cancelled it is 0 here reminder is equal to 0 is equal to 0 therefore this is a factor of instead of uh, plus t i'll write minus t i'll explain once again Okay, check whether t square minus 3 is a factor of 2 t power 4 plus 3 t cube minus 2 t square minus 9 t minus 12. Let me just divide as usual 2 t power 4 by t square is 2 t square. 2 t square and t square is 2 t power 4. 0 t cube then minus 6 t square. Subtraction gives you 3 t cube. Minus of minus is plus 6. 4 t square minus, uh, 
minus 90 is brought down. Sorry, there is a change here. Minus 90. Minus 90 is brought down. Okay, just listen carefully. Now 3t cube but t square is 3t. 3t into t square is 3t cube plus 0t square minus 9t. Now for this will go off 4t square minus of minus 90 becomes 0t with minus 12 is brought down. 4t square by t square is 4. 4 in t square is 4t square. 0t minus 12. Everything gets cancelled. Here remainder is 0. Now for t square minus 3 is a factor of so and so. Therefore if you are given a uh, polynomial of greater degree and another polynomial of smaller degree. If you divide the polynomial of greater degree with the polynomial of a smaller degree, if the remainder happens to be 0, I will write the polynomial of small, smaller degree is a factor of the given polynomial of a greater degree. If the remainder not equal to 0, I will come to the conclusion it is not a factor, it will not be a factor. Okay, therefore, I have taken one example where it becomes a factor and I have taken another example where it does not become a factor. So, remember these two cases. Okay, and I uh, will try to continue with some more problems in the next video because I am making it as short as possible so that you will also feel, won't feel bored by going through the problems. Okay, I will also find it easier to upload in a faster way. The rest will continue in the next video. Thank you students for patience. Watching. There are two small corrections. Sorry for the inconvenience anyway. Okay, in one of the places, alpha plus beta is minus bba. Instead by mistake, it was said alpha beta is minus bba. When alpha beta to zeros of the polynomial, alpha plus beta is minus bba. It was uh, wrongly said as alpha beta is minus b by a. See the correction and learn. And in one of the places of the graph of the curve is above the x-axis, there will be unreal zeros or complex zeros. By mistake, it is said as complex uh, polynomial. Uh, see for these two corrections and then learn. Thank you.